hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to see how we can annotate the data for training a custom ner uh, pipeline with spacey 3.0 So I've made a separate video to train the NER with 3.0. So there was some feedback related to how we can effectively annotate the data as well. So that's the reason why I'm making this particular video. So in this particular uh, tutorial, I'm going to explain a simple tool that can be uh, used to annotate the data. So this is the file format which we need to have for the NER training. So like in my previous notebook i've already mentioned how we can actually train so let me just uh, take that particular example and just have a quick recap so the first step of this entire process is to train the data and i have uh, also attached the link to prodigy so this particular training data is having a particular format where it is in a list and inside a list there's a, tu a tuple and inside uh, that tuple there is a there is a dictionary followed by a list followed by another tuple. So this is the file format which is actually used for uh, Spacey NER training. And uh, like, so now the challenge is like how we can actually make from a text corpus. So let's say I have a particular text corpus like this, which I need to actually train for uh, like NER. So how we can use, uh, uh, like uh, how we can actually annotate this particular data and make it in this particular format. Which, which we need to annotate ideally. So for this, uh, we can simply uh, we can simply convert this particular data in this particular format. Uh, there is a particular tool called NER Annotator by Techaholic. And I, I, I would suggest you guys to actually check out their uh, GitHub page and other website for some awesome Python stuff. Uh, in this particular tool, uh, there is a feature where we can uh, directly open the text file so I'm just opening the text file from here so directly it is opening up a UI like this where we can uh, we have the text separation where it is whether it's new line empty line custom string then I've already added a label so maybe I can actually uh, uh, remove that label and show you guys how to add a new label so straightforward when we uh, come to this particular tool there is a functionality where we can add the label so in this case I need to add uh, it as aircraft and uh, I just have to actually uh, click plus here so that annotation gets saved here now uh, all that we have to do is uh, so this is the first sentence of my training data and I need to just select that particular example and I need to save and so it will automatically go into the second sentence like provided the data is actually line separated or else you can actually give whatever custom string whether it is new line or like yeah new line anyway it is handled here so if it's another way of like your training data is actually in full stop or like anything that that can be handled here then uh, this for this particular example it is f16 save f35 save one five save then we don't have anything here so I'm just keeping that one then f16 f35 f15 f16 f35 f35 so you have completed all the sentences done and uh, straight away we can go to annotation section and then click export so it will automatically create a JSON file. Okay, so this is the this is the JSON file which automatically it creates, and this JSON file will have that particular train data and all the stuff which we need. So now let's see how we can utilize this particular data to train our uh, or to make the data in that corresponding format. So first of all, uh, I have my file annotation file saved in the downloads folder. So I'm just uh, taking it from there so simply run this particular cell and if you need to see the data we can so the so the class name is aircraft and uh, like there is uh, annotations and inside annotation the file file structure is little different that means uh, instead of a list of tuple it is list of list 
then followed by inside also it is list of list here and it's not uh, just like how we need list of tuple so these are the two changes we we have to do and it's pretty straightforward uh, we just have to run this uh, uh, it's not even function it's just a snippet so here so we just give the entity name then we just uh, read the training data and uh, first of all I'm just converting the entire uh, list into tuple format so once I do this uh, uh, list comprehension then all my training data will be uh, in tuple format that means the first tuple so that is actually coming like this so from list of list it is converted into list of tuple now we need to convert the internal uh, list into tuple so for that it's it's pretty straightforward and uh, like there are some null examples so for null examples we have to actually append it with 0 and 0 and uh, then just that we have to kind of uh, run this example and finally it is automatically replaced so so the data becomes exactly like how we need all that we have to do is still this much uh, to prepare the data and once you have this data then I would suggest you to follow the rest of the steps which is detailed in the training notebook so conversion of data to dot spacey format and uh, then the rest of the procedures basically so with that uh, finally you will be able to train the entire data and get your model up so uh, all that we have done so far is we utilized one tool to create the first version of the annotation and then followed by a simple uh, data manipulation to make it in the exact same format so that's all and uh, thank you thank you very much for watching this video have a, have a great day guys bye